So I think no one really knows what it's going to be like for restaurants. And I think a lot of this depends on the government. So obviously the package they announced, um, you know, however long ago it was, five or six weeks, the furloughing scheme has been incredible. They have given a lot of support to the industry already. And I've been so impressed by that support. But it is not enough. And we've been working with Jonathan Downey, um, you know, since the beginning and the incredible work he's done. Um, and, and now we've completely teamed up in this national timeout strategy, which I think so many restaurants have got behind. Because if we're allowed to open in July, but people are still socially distancing and people haven't got the um, confidence yet to go back into restaurants, then there is no way we will survive paying the rents that we're paying. I mean, the rents even before this happened, some of them were pretty astronomical, but um, operating on a restaurant that's 40 to 50 cent, you know, every, there will be so many people going bust. And we're talking about a lot of jobs. You know, mm. if, you, if you think conservatively that half the restaurants could hit the wall, that's feeding half the amount of people that they're supposed to on full rents and rates, then that's basically 2 million jobs at risk. And that is 2 million lives that go out of business and the families that they support. That's a, that's, that's a carnage for society, yeah. quite apart from the fact that restaurants give, you know, joy and, and hope and, you know, that camaraderie that it, it, it gives you when you go out and, and take part in hospitality. You know, the very point of hospitality is to allow people to sit together and break bread and take time out from their busy days. So on many levels, it would be a disaster. So the national timeout thing is really trying to persuade the government to get behind us to cause to, to, to call for complete pause on rental payments till the end of the year. Mm. Also to support the landlords because any landlords who've taken out debt to support you know buildings yeah. have done, they should also have a moratorium on any you know debt interest payments they have on debt um, because we don't want them to go under two. Um, but the alternative of us paying full rent from when we're given license to open will be you know will be absolutely carnage and all the sites will be empty anyway because yeah. people will go out of business and then the landlords aren't going to get their rents in any case so it feels like the right thing to do it feels like something the government can get behind without having to fork out yet more yeah. billions of pounds um so it won't cost them anything